Welcome to TechSever. This video is intended for medical certifiers who use the electronic system to certify death certificates infrequently. In this video, we will learn how to do medical data entry for justices of the peace. Let's get started. If you don't know how to log in or access a record, please see the video regarding logging in and accessing records. After you've selected the record you'd like to work on, TechSever will give you a notice that you have been designated to medically certify this record. If you choose to reject the record, you must explain why. Click Accept to begin entering information. We will start with Medical Tab 1. Click Medical Tab 1 on the left side of the screen. First, we will verify that the decedent's name is correct. Next, verify that your name, title, address, and license number are correct. Finally, verify that the date and time of death are accurate. When selecting the time of death, choose between actual, presumed, and estimated times of death. If a decedent was found and the time of death is unknown, select Found On to indicate the date and time the body was found. Move on to Medical Tab 2. Medical Tab 2 is where we enter cause of death information and is extremely important. Please take your time on this screen as the data plays a significant role in public health. The cause of death is based on your best medical opinion. We begin with cause of death part 1. In box A, we will enter the immediate cause of death. This is the final disease or condition resulting in death. To the right of box A, enter the approximate interval or onset to death. If the cause of death will take longer than 5 days to determine, enter pending. Do not enter terminal events such as cardiac arrest, respiratory arrest, or ventricular fibrillation in box A without explaining the conditions that led to those events in the following boxes. In box B, we will enter what caused the condition in box A. To the right of box B, enter the approximate interval. In box C, we will enter what caused the condition in box B. To the right of box C, enter the approximate interval. In box D, we will enter what caused the condition in box C. To the right of box D, enter the approximate interval. If you have nothing to enter in boxes B, C, or D, you should click on those boxes and press the tab button to address those spaces. In cause of death part two, Enter any other significant conditions contributing to death, but not resulting in the underlying causes given in Part 1. We will then enter autopsy information if applicable. Was an autopsy performed? If so, were the autopsy findings available to help determine the cause of death? Next, we move on to manner of death. Physicians can only certify causes of death that are natural. Any other manner of death should be certified by a justice of the peace or a medical examiner. If the cause of death will take longer than five days to determine, select pending as the manner of death and enter pending into box A. Finally, we will answer two questions. Did tobacco use contribute to death? If the decedent was a female ages 10 to 54, was she pregnant in the last year? You will have to provide an answer for all female decedents aged 10 to 54. Be sure to carefully select the correct pregnancy option and do not select pregnant and time of death if the female was not pregnant. Finally, Medical Tab 3 asks us to provide information related to injuries or accidental deaths. If there is no injury information to report, select No, click Save, and move on. If there is injury information to report, select Yes. 
First, we will indicate if the injury was related to a transportation accident. If yes, describe the decedent's role in the transportation injury and offer an explanation. Next, we will indicate the date of the injury, the time of the injury, and the time indicator. Then, we will indicate if the injury occurred at work. If so, give the place and address of injury. Finally, we will describe how the injury occurred. If it was a transportation injury, include the types of vehicles involved. You now know how to complete medical data entry for justices of the peace.